I think that a Toronto DJ has a wide palette of music that they play, and I think they definitely incorporate a lot of West Indian influences. For myself, I grew up in Pickering and spent time in Scarborough on the east side of Toronto. There's a large West Indian community there. And when I was growing up, a lot of the parties or clubs I'd go to would have a lot of West Indian music. When I started DJing, I wanted to reproduce that vibe, places where I had fun. That's what I feel is a large part of being a Toronto DJ. It's incorporating hip hop, incorporating West Indian music, incorporating electronic music as well. I think it's a city that has so much diversity that uh, most Toronto DJs will play more than just one style. And I think that that's what makes it very distinctive. It's not that I don't love you. You know how much I do. And it's not that I found somebody Take the place for me But it's just the feeling within me When you touch my head One of the top DJs out of Canada you're not really going to find somebody that's uh, as versatile just on your game as far as the DJ game because it's not <laughs> only about if you can cut or scratch but it's the business of it. I've been DJing now for 18 years and one thing I've learned is you just have to try to find ways to retell your story or you know tell new stories but also retell who you are. The barbecue event has become something of that for me. It's always been a thing I like doing playing in the afternoon or playing things outside of clubs and uh, this is our sixth year going with that in Toronto, so it's been, a, it's been a really cool thing to help bring me out of the club into doing other things. And so I guess that leads to having your own hot sauce and stuff like that. <laughs> We're in Toronto. This is this is like one of the biggest parties in the summer. <laughs> yeah, we got Jazzy Jeff coming down. So anytime Jeff makes an appearance, it's a pretty big deal. I'm originally from Halifax, Nova Scotia, which is a, a two and a half hour flight to the east. I first came to Toronto maybe when I was, I think, like 10 years old, just visiting. After that time, I came for the DMCs. That weekend, you know, Mast Ace played a show at the Comfort Zone. I remember going there, and it was amazing to hear the DJ play all these you know, underground hip hop songs and have the, the response from the crowd be so excited. Where this is music to me in Halifax only enjoyed by a small group of friends and us in our basement or whatever. I immediately noticed that the, the music IQ was very high. Because Toronto being such a multicultural city, everyone has, you know, family and parents and friends that are from other places that all have their own styles of music and their own thing they get excited. That's what they identify with. My mother's from Trinidad and when we played Dollar Wine at home at the at the dinner parties, it was like, you know, that was that was when everyone got together and partied like like they were in Port of Spain or whatever. Scratch back with plays and shit today that I've never heard anybody play and he fucking rocked that shit. The crowd was was receptive to it. I told him I, I when this set was over I was like yo that set right there that was inspirational. 